Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the fake New York City. If you look up, look around, you see that the tire is a fake movie wall. We are in MBS studio and shooting me right now is the Canon EOS R5C. Uh, look around. Beautiful studio. Look at the sun. Mm. I can't get in there. Canon R5C is here, but no one seems to figure out how to shoot the R180 video with it. There is no footage, not even from the official Canon in 3D-180 format until today. You are looking at some stunning real-world footage right now shot at 8K 60 frames per second Canon RAW LT in C-Log3 cinema gamut and I convert it into Rec 709. Hey guys, check out the car I just bought. So, my mom once told me if I work hard enough in Hollywood, eventually I will make enough money to get a beat up Cadillac. Just kidding, it's my movie set. So, you can absolutely shoot VR180 with Canon R5C and we will teach you how. But first, let's make some side-by-side -side comparisons between the Canon R5C and the Canon R5 to find out which is better for VR180 production. The Canon R5C is not necessarily better than the Canon R5. It depends. I will show you in this in-depth video in VR. So put on your Meta Quest 2 or VR headsets of choice, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Oh my god. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Hugh here. Shooting me right now is the Canon R5C with the Canon RF 5.2mm f2.8 LT deal for shyless and kimchi been taking whole eye there right now. Next to it, we have the Canon R5 also with the Canon deal for shyless. They are shooting side by side at the same time. Right now, you should be seeing the Canon R5. This is the fished and stereo calibrated with the Canon US VR Utility. Let's switch back to Canon R5C right now, which is the fish and stereo calibrated by me manually with the combination of Black Magic Resolve Fusion, After Effects, and Mythica. So, if you decided to get the Canon R5C, prepare yourself to do your own the fish and stereo 3D calibration. Luckily, it's easier than you think. We will go into detail in the following 2D tutorial. If you just want to shoot and release your 2D content without, without a terabyte of raw footage and complicated post-production workflow, then R5 is a better choice. R5C is really designed for professionals who will not use the EOS VR utility. We at 3D Professional like to have complete control of disparity and pick our own convergency point and yard balance. R5C with a more dynamic range, cinema level image quality, and 60 frames per second unlock our creativity to meet demanding film industry clients. So now let's do a chart test together to do the comparison. The biggest differences between the R5 and R5C is the ability to capture 8K in 60 frames per second. As you see right here, 60 frames per second has way fewer motion artifacts inside a VR headset. In my opinion, for dance and action focused VR 180 video, or if the camera is moving like what you are seeing right here, having 60 frames per second is very necessary. Shot both in C-Log3 cinema gamut, we can clearly tell R5C has a lot more dynamic range in both highlights and shadows compared to R5. 
Canon R5C is one of the first EOS art cameras with dual gain ISOs. Its base ISO is 800 and 3500. So for low light, like right here, in ISO 3500 at midnight, Venice High School, the footage is still usable. This is undoubtedly the best low light VR camera on the market today. You can watch this on Oculus TV directly with a cache download to see the quality inside your Meta Quest 2. Link is in the description down below. If you need the source sample footage, please comment below and let me know. In the following tutorial, we will focus on how to shoot, edit, and render VR 180 video in 8K 60 frames per second, just like this with the Canon R5C. So don't forget to subscribe, give this video a big thumb up, and I will see you in the tutorial soon.